Hey everybody, it's Johnny Bowen here. I'm standing next to the world famous Bad GT. I really want to thank everybody for the overwhelming positive uh, comments on the uh, latest run we did, which was 310.8 miles an hour. It was not in the standing mile. Never claimed it to be in the standing mile. It was just a top speed run. We were testing and tuning, and I wanted to get some good data in six gear, and it felt good, so I stretched a little further. But the main reason for this video is, you know, there's two really fast cars in this world. There's mine, and there's the Heidecker car, uh, M2K. And uh, that car's super fast, I've seen it run. And there's a lot of people that wanna see these cars race. And I think it's about time we have a showdown. You know, Heidecker claims his car is a street legal car. Uh, it probably is street legal, but I don't know if it meets the rules that the Guinness requires for a Guinness World Record, but we're not gonna go for a Guinness World Record, but I'd like to adhere to their streetcar class rules. So, the car has to have license, tag, insurance, the driver's gotta have a license, uh, current registration, uh, headlights, taillights, blinkers, passenger seat, the AC's gotta blow less than 60 degrees, and I'm not gonna be a stickler on that. If you got AC that blows 65 or 70, that's in there. But this car has all that stuff. It's driven all around town. I drive it in the middle of summer sometimes when it's extremely hot, still got good AC. At the end of the day, if I'm gonna race Mark Heidecker's car, uh, I, I want it to be a level playing field. You come down to my runway where I test and do all the driving that we do, and I'll take care of all the expenses of the runway costs, including fire rescue, EMT, all that stuff. We're gonna have a side-by-side -side drag race. The bad GT against the Mark Heidecker car. Um, bring your car. You can have whatever tires you want. You can run whatever fuel you want. But you got to have license tag insurance and you got to have AC that works in the car. And we're going to start a few miles away from the beginning of the start line. We're going to drive the cars to the starting line. We're not going to tow them there and ice down the intercooler. We're, gonna, we're not going to have a big intercooler tank in the front seat or wherever that we can fill up with ice and try to bring the, the intercooler charge down. These cars are gonna be driven several miles to the starting line. And we're not gonna do an individual standing mile because we all know that in drag racing, you can get a higher mile an hour uh, on, a slower, on a slower vehicle and a quicker vehicle to have a lower ET might have a lower mile an hour. We're gonna eliminate that problem. We're gonna race side by side on the best runway on the planet Earth. We'll have over two miles to stop. So. If you guys are interested in this, oh, and there's one more little caveat. This is my car. My name's Johnny Bomer. I bought this car brand new. I've been working on it with an incredible team around me, ATF, RAV. I got fuel tech in the car. Huge support, huge team, but I drive my car. Mark Heidecker, I'm tired of hearing about Heidecker's car, Mark's car, Mark's car. I don't know who Mark's car is. All I know is, is you own the car, supposedly, you come down. I want to race you, Mark Heidecker. I don't want to race uh, a, 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 some professional driver, whoever you got, because that's you know that's not what it's all about. I race motorcycles. Sometimes I have a grudge match with a buddy. I want to race him on his motorcycle. And in this situation, I want to race you in your car, and I'll drive my car, and may the best man win. And if you beat me, my friend, I'm going to shake your hand. But I will tell you this. The bad GT has not shown you any slight portion of what it can do so photo bomb <laughs> from the dog here but anyway i just want you to know that i have the utmost respect for your car and what it's done and patrick who drove it but now it's time for us to have a mono a mono race and it'll break the internet and one of us is going to win um it could be you it could be me cars are very similar but anyway, let me know if you're in for the challenge. We'll do this sometime in late 2023. And uh, you know, I'm thinking around December 2023. Gives you plenty of time to get your car ready. My car's ready to go. We're going to run my car again in February and try to go somewhere in the neighborhood of 315, 320, 322. But anyway, please let me know what you think about this, everybody. I, 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 hear, I see comments about M2K this, M2K that. They're faster, they did this. Let's eliminate the BS. Let's put them side by side and let the cars and the drivers do the talking. Have a great day.